Hi, welcome to Now We're Cooking with Lauren. Today I'm making a chicken stew with dark red kidney beans and a tomato base. So this is an Italian twist on a classic soup. Uh, this is not your mama's chicken noodle soup, so don't have that expectation, but this is gonna put something new on your plate that I think you'll really like. What we're gonna do is add in a very traditional soup medley of onion, celery, and carrots. Add it into a pot with some uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. That's always a good sound to hear, that sizzle. Oh, I love that smell. It reminds me of being in my mother's kitchen when I was a little kid. Right away, you want to stir that up. The vegetables will soften up and sort of gain a sweetness to them, especially the pear. So an important trick is to add salt and pepper as you cook. Now that the vegetables are softened up, it's time for some canned tomatoes. This is a 14 and a half ounce jar. They're really good. Uh, they're not organic or anything, but they still do the job. Put them right in the pot. That's the sound that you want to hear. Along with that, add in two cups of low sodium chicken broth. One serving of this has about 25% of your daily value of sodium. So that's plenty. Perfect. I'm gonna add my herbs. I'm gonna add about two shakes of this dried basil. Now when you're cooking, it's good to use your instinct. Um, technically, I would say to use about a teaspoon of this. But I'm still shaking it. A teaspoon of that and about, about five sprigs of thyme. This is lemon thyme. Lemon and tomatoes really complement each other. You know it's a fresh herb when you can smell it on your hands afterwards. When you buy fresh herbs in the grocery store, the price is almost triple of what you could pay um, than if you use fresh herbs in your garden. Along with the basil and thyme, I'm going to add about three bay leaves. So now, it's time to show you what's cooking in the pot. Keep stirring it to make sure the chicken is covered the whole time so it'll cook thoroughly. In a few minutes, I'll take it out. Let the chicken cool and shred the chicken into bite-sized pieces and add it back into the pot along with the dark red kidney beans. Okay, so the chicken finished cooking. And so what I did is I took it out, I let it cool. I took two forks and I shred the chicken off the bone. And then finally went over it with a sharp knife and cut it again to make sure they were bite-sized pieces. All right, so the soup smells like it's done. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Mm. Oh, that is so good. Thanks for watching.